as Tripoli, the biggest container ships in the world, at the moment we're on our way from Gothenburg to Bremerhaven. Okay. Captain Franz Holmberg has one of the most coveted jobs in the maritime. He's in command of the Mary Maersk, part of a new class of ships called the Triple E that in 2013 became the largest in the world. Can hold 18,400 containers. They can be stacked 10 high. You can see here we got four high, so that means we can actually put six more containers on, on, on top of this stack here. Stretching over 1,300 feet, the Mary Maersk is as long as the Empire State Building. It contains enough steel to make eight Eiffel Towers. The Maersk Shipping Company launched the Triple E line in June of 2013. Ten of the ships now ply the seas from Europe to Asia, in part to satisfy the hunger for European goods among China's rapidly growing middle class. It's uh, 2.20 in the morning and uh, the operation is almost completed now, so we are making ready to sail. The rest of the crew, they are doing a stowaway check at the moment. There is a definite risk that some people might sneak on board. Most of them think that any ship is going for America, which uh, apparently is where they all want to go, so uh, they would be sorely disappointed here, obviously. ships is so big so you have to think in advance. It's not like a car, you can just hit the brake and stop. You, you really have to think in advance and plan your, your actions and what to do. And Gothenburg have a quite good port for, for these kind of ships. It's a, a good dredge channel and it's, you always have a safety distance under the keel to make sure that you don't hit the bottom. So working at least eight hours a day in splits of four hours on, eight hours off, that's the, the time on the bridge, being a, a lookout or figuring out what's doing any, any given situation or under pilotage. I should be on for around three months on any one vessel. I'm a second engineer, I'm from Ukraine, living in Odessa. My grandpa, he was a sea seaman. My, my father, he's also working as an engineer. I enjoy this, uh, this life, it's tough, tough life. Uh, it's very exciting because uh, all this extremely expensive machinery and you're actually the one who is running it and, and, and depending on, on your judgment or your decision you, you know either you will be in, uh, in, in a big big trouble or you will be a winner. Yeah, the propeller is right there behind this wall so this uh, the one which is actually moving the vessel forward. At $190 million each, the new ships are a big gamble for the Maersk Company, which is betting heavily on an improving global economy during a time of lingering uncertainty. Currently, many of the world's major ports cannot yet accommodate ships this large, limiting their ability to be fully loaded as they cross the globe. It's not just building a ship. All the ports, they, they, they need to make quite big, big investments as well. For a ship so big, the crew is small, just 27 people on this trip, all men. When they're not working, the crew enjoys hot meals, a cinema, a swimming pool, and a workout room. Yeah, I build it here. <laughs> Under sail, the ship burns approximately 100 tons of fuel a day, its single largest cost. The company says, however, that it achieves significant savings through its unique design. A great deal of shipbuilding has been put into finding the, the optimal hull shape. There is no other form of transfer that can even compare closely to the fuel to ton of cargo ratio. There's nothing that, that gets even close. Because the ship is more than 345 meters in length, the German regulation states that we have to take the pilot pretty far out at sea. Uh, just on our port side, since it's so far away from everything, the pilot, he would be arriving by helicopter. In any port we go in, there will always be pilots. They have local knowledge and they communicate with the trucks when we need that. I own the car, but they own the parking lot. And if I want to park in their parking lot, they want somebody there as well. 
What is that like to drop in like that? You, you look like a, a Navy commando. Well, I don't know, but uh, <laughs> it's not so easy, especially if you have uh, stormy weather. But in this circumstances, it's quite good. Every time a new series come out, everybody say that this is it. Now it can't get any bigger. And then a few years after, then they just add a little bit more.